Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q1 of the weekly contest 288, largest number after digit swaps by parody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, especially if you like chatting about contest problems and stuff like this, um, come hang out, come chat, and you can talk to people like me. Anyway, so the key thing to know about this one is to know that uh, you can do any number of swaps. And when you can do num any number of swaps, you know, my mind goes to thinking about, okay, you know, you could do one swap to make it slightly better and then you could keep on doing it making it slightly better and in a way you can maybe think about it like a like a bubble sword or or you know insertion sword or something like that but a sorting algorithm right and that's basically the idea here and of course if they are this only happens when they're odd or even so basically you can only swap the odds and odds and the even and the evens and basically based on that idea that's all you have to do and after that that's implementation and honestly my implementation is not the best i did it in about three minutes uh it's a little bit awkward in general so yeah so this is my really long code that i'm not super proud of but but it is easy to type and easy to uh, I don't know, easy to type for me just to be clear because i i you know uh, you can think about it every modularly but but basically what i do is i convert it to a string first so that it's uh you know I just convert it to a string so that it's easier to deal with. And then for each digit, I check to see if it's even or not. After that, like I said, I sort and then I reverse. Actually, th this part is a little bit awkward because I, I think I could have just put them in odds and even and then sort. Eh, my bad. But either way, the idea is still the same. After I, I um, order them from largest to smallest, then I separate them out from even to odds, and then I combine them again from, from the original array of is the original array odds or even. Uh, and then at, in the end, I, I join them back together into one big family of number, and then I make it an int. So that's pretty much it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and of course, n where n is 9, which is log of the number, base 10, if you will. Um, I do n log n from that. So you can say is log of the input number, but the the input number of course contains n bits, um, roughly speaking, at least you know. So this is going to be, uh, yeah. So that's basically it, and the sorting on that and reverse is linear. So yeah, so this is going to be n log n, and that's basically the only constraint really. I mean, I do a lot of extra stuff to be frank, but all of this is linear other than the sorting. Um, and you don't even, and if you really want to, you could do a. Uh, uh, a bucket sort or radix sort or you know or one of those things then obviously it only has 10 digits so this this isn't even actually um so you could do this in faster if you really want to observe yourself and just play around with it uh, but yeah that's pretty much all i have for this one in terms of explanation let me know what you think in the comments or discord and you could watch me solve a live during the contest next <laughs> Uh, 
how slow. <laughs> I'm really having fun with this one. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, especially if you want to talk about these problems. There are a lot of smart people in, in the Discord, uh, and you get to even see me. So that that's, you know, hopefully that's not deterrence. <laughs> uh, but yeah, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later, and to good lead coding. Bye-bye.